OpenAI just dropped ChatGPT 5.2, and it's wild. This thing came out less than a month after 5.1. It's faster, smarter, and way better at understanding images. Google's Gemini had them in a code red panic. Now they're fighting back hard. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. And listen, this ChatGPT 5.2 update is actually crazy. I've been testing it for the past few days, and there are some things you need to know right now. So ChatGPT 5.2 just launched it. And here's what's insane about it. It came out less than a month after May 1st. That's super fast for OpenAI. But Google dropped Gemini 3 and it scared them, like actually scared them. There were reports of a code red situation inside OpenAI. So they rushed to get 5.2 out the door. And I'll be honest, it shows this is the fastest and smartest chat GPT has ever felt. Let me break down exactly what changed and why you should care. First, let's talk about what 5.2 actually is, because a lot of people are confused. They think this is chat GPT-6. It's not. It's an upgrade to the GPT-5 line. So here's how it went. GPT-5.0 came out with deeper reasoning, better conversations, more natural responses. Then 5.1 came out focused on stability. It added dynamic memory, better instruction following, lower latency. Now 5.2 is here. And this one is all about performance and real-time intelligence faster responses, stronger reasoning, way better at handling images and long conversations. Think of it like this. 5.0 was the brain. 5.1 was the personality. 5.2 is the speed and power. And you can feel the difference immediately. Let me show you the three big upgrades that actually change how you use this thing. Upgrade number one is reasoning and long context handling. This is huge for anyone doing research or content creation or coding. So I tested this by giving it a messy real world brief. I said, I'm launching an AI YouTube channel. Here's my niche. Here's my upload schedule. Design me a 30 day content plan with automation built in. I gave this exact same prompt to 5.1 and 5.2. And the difference was night and day. 5.1 gave me a decent plan, but it missed a few of my constraints. It forgot about my upload schedule halfway through. 5.2 tracked everything perfectly. It remembered all my constraints. It structured the plan way cleaner and the automation suggestions were specific to my skill set. This is what they mean by better reasoning. It's not just about giving you an answer. It's about following your entire brief and keeping all the details in mind. Let me tell you about something that's going to save you a ton of time. So if you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like ChatGPT 5.2, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I break down exactly how to use these tools to get real results. No fluff, just step-by-step -step processes you can implement today. We're talking about automating content creation, building AI workflows, scaling your output without burning out. The link is in the description, go check it out. All right, back to the video. Upgrade number two is speed. And I'm not talking about a tiny difference. This thing is noticeably faster. I ran the same prompt on 5.1 and 5.2 side by side and 5.2 started spitting out usable text way faster. The streaming felt smoother, less lag. OpenAI says they did backend optimizations. Whatever they did, it worked. This feels snappy now, almost as fast as Gemini 3. Upgrade number three is multimodal intelligence. This is where 5.2 really shines. So I uploaded a thumbnail and an analytics screenshot. Then I asked it, what's going wrong with this video? And how would you redesign the thumbnail and hook? 5.1 gave me basic feedback. It read the text. It looked at the numbers, but the insights were surface level. 5.2 actually understood the relationship between the thumbnail and the analytics. It pointed out specific elements that weren't working. It suggested redesigns based on the data. It even rewrote my hook to match the new thumbnail concept. That's the difference. It's combining visual and text reasoning in one go. And that's powerful for content creators and developers. Julian Goldie reads every comment. So make sure you comment below and tell me which of these upgrades you're most excited about. Now, let me show you the under the hood stuff. 5.1 introduced dynamic memory. That's where ChatGPT remembers details about you across conversations. 5.2 builds on that. But now the memory is way more reliable. It stays in character across long sessions. And here's something cool. They updated the personalization settings. So now when you change ChatGPT's personality or instructions, it applies to all your chats, not just new ones. I tested this. I changed my settings to be more direct. And immediately, every conversation felt different, even ongoing threads. They also improved the search feature, better at finding facts, detects when you're shopping, cleaner formatting. Plus, you can now interrupt long running queries. You can stop it mid response and update your prompt. Super useful when it's going in the wrong direction. All right now, let's talk about real use cases. How do you use this thing to save time and get better results? First, for content creators, use 5.2 
for batch video ideation, feed it your channel niche, and a list of your past uploads. Then ask it for a 30-day content calendar with titles, hooks, and CTAs. 5.2 is way better at keeping track of what you already posted. It won't suggest duplicate topics. You can also use it for thumbnail and script refinement. Upload a screenshot of your thumbnail, paste your script outline, then ask it to improve both at the same time. Second use case for developers and automation builders, 5.2 is way better at debugging and refactoring code. I tested this by giving it the same broken script in 5.1 and 5.2. 5.1 fixed the bug, but the explanation was surface level. 5.2 not only fixed the bug, it explained the logic behind it. It pointed out edge cases and it suggested a better way to structure the code overall. You can also use 5.2 to design complex workflows like combining ChatGPT with email and a database using NA10 or Zapier. I asked it to design a workflow and then refine the prompt three times with new constraints. 5.2 kept track of every constraint without losing details. And here's something most people are missing with 5.2. The context window handling is insane now. You can feed it entire code bases or multi-page documents and it actually remembers everything. I tested this by uploading a 50 page business plan and then asking specific questions about different sections an hour later. It pulled exact details without losing track. This is huge if you're working on complex projects where you need the AI to reference back to earlier parts of the conversation. 5.1 would start forgetting things after about 20 minutes of back and forth. 5.2 keeps it all locked in. Third use case for researchers and power users, 5.2 is better at multi-source research with fewer hallucinations. The improved search feature helps, but the model itself is also more accurate. You can also use the new interrupt feature for long research queries. Start a prompt. Then if it's going off track, stop it mid response and add more context. All right, now let's talk about the limitations because 5.2 is not perfect. First, it can still hallucinate less than 5.1 but it's not zero, so if you're using this for anything critical, you need to fact check. Second, it's still not as good as Gemini 3 at some things, especially real-time data and search integration, but 5.2 is way better than 5.1. And OpenAI is clearly iterating faster now. They're in competition mode, and that's good for us. So should you switch to 5.2? Absolutely, if you have access, use it. It's faster, smarter, and more reliable than 5.1. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. It's our free AI community with 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. Get all the video notes from there, plus access to prompts, templates, and a community of people using AI to scale their work. Links in the comments and description. Go join right now. All right, before I go, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below with your craziest 5.2 prompt or result. What are you using it for? Also, do you think 5.2 is enough to pull you away from Gemini 3, or are you still on the fence? Julian Goldie reads every single comment, so go comment right now. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're dropping AI updates like this every single week. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.